Most people call them starfish. Scientists call them sea stars. But over the last couple of years, million of them, millions of them up and down the coast have been wiped out by a disease that has baffled researchers. But the sea stars could actually be making a comeback. Some of them have been spotted right here on the central coast. Action News reporter Phil Gomez has more live right now in Santa Cruz. Well, more than 20 different species have been affected by wasting disease, but according to scientists, these new populations offer hope for a sea star comeback. The first symptoms are usually lesions, which are sort of small, white, sometimes hard to see, kind of sores that they have. And eventually, they usually start to lose their arms. They can be turned into mush and um, die. There is hope for purple, red, and orange starfish, or sea stars, to overcome this wasting disease. Researchers at UC Santa Cruz Marine Lab say they've seen more baby starfish at Terrace Point Natural Bridges than in the last 15 years. Some of the babies we're seeing are the size of a pinky nail, and those ones likely were born after the sea star wasting event began. And it is a possibility that the adults, once they started experiencing this stress, uh, started um, producing babies. These two right here are the same age. Scientists are cautiously optimistic that these little guys right here are disease free, but only time will tell. There's no indication that it's carried on through generation. It's more indication that it's a virus that occurs in the water and under a, a lot of different environmental circumstances. They're more susceptible and then it becomes so contagious. The Seymour Marine Discovery Center averages 68,000 visitors a year. One of their popular displays is the invertebrate pools where sea stars are the stars. We definitely have interested visitors. They ask about wasting syndrome in sea stars and we let them know what we know from our own researchers here. What scientists don't know is if the disease is still present or if juveniles that are here may become affected. So we will continue monitoring our plots and uh, receiving observations from the public to see whether or not they survive. And there is a website called seastarwasting.org. You can find information about the disease. You can even go out onto the website after you visit the tide pools and write whether, about whether or not you spot one of these juvenile starfish. Dan Aaron. All right. Thank you very much, Phil. Researchers think they'll know next year about the status of the sea star baby boom.